Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we'll be taking a ride along the Mississippi River on the East Bank, mostly in Jefferson Parish. We begin at the corner of Carrollton Avenue and Oak Street in uptown New Orleans. Oak Street is a hot spot for New Orleans college students as well as local artists, writers, artisans, and musicians. In the late 1800s, Oak Street served as the main street center of the town of Carrollton. Today, with seven blocks and nearly every type of small business imaginable, Oak Street is once again the commercial center and pride of the city's Carrollton neighborhood. Occupying the historic buildings from the 20th century are a collection of coffee shops, art galleries, new and secondhand clothing boutiques, hobby shops, cozy dining establishments, and other small businesses. One of the most famous music clubs in New Orleans is the Maple Leaf Bar on Oak Street. Known for its live poetry readings and energizing music, the Maple Leaf Bar made international headlines in September of 2005 when it hosted the first live music shows in the city after Hurricane Katrina. In a moment, we'll be entering Jefferson Parish and Oak Street will become River Road. River Road carries State Highway 611-1, one of the few remaining hyphenated state highway numbers. These hyphenated routes were created with the 1955 renumbering and are a legacy of the assumption by the state through the years of many otherwise local streets and cities and towns throughout the state. The state maintained city streets were often short sections of road, usually interconnected with other state maintained local streets in the vicinity. Because of the interconnectedness of these state maintained streets as well as their close proximity and extremely short length, it was decided for practical purposes not to separately number each and every street in the town as a separate state route. Instead, each street was deemed a section of the larger whole, with the aggregate comprising a single state highway. There are currently three different Highway 611s, but at one time there were 13, several of which connected with the River Road. At the bottom of the screen, the highway numbers of the cross streets that have been deleted from the state inventory are indicated by the old-style green Louisiana shield. At Monticello Avenue, we entered Jefferson Parish, and Monticello was State Highway 611-8 until 2010. Up next is Dakin Street, which was Louisiana 611-7 until 1974. We're now in the unincorporated community of Jefferson, Louisiana, which has a population of 11,193 as of the 2010 census. Here we see Brooklyn Avenue, which was designated as LA 611-5 until state maintenance ended in 2010. On the right is the back end of Oxner Medical Center's ever-growing main campus, which faces Jefferson Highway. Here, Labar Road is the former LA 611 4, which was deleted in 2010.
We pass the southern end of Causeway Boulevard, which travels four miles north to connect with the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. At Shrewsbury Road, we encounter Section 3 of LA 611, which is still maintained by the state to this day. Here, Central Avenue was numbered LA 611-2 until 2010. State maintenance, as well as LA 611-1, comes to an end at Jefferson Heights Avenue. We pass under the Huey P. Long Bridge, completed in 1935 and expanded in 2013. This bridge carries vehicular and rail traffic across the Mississippi River and also serves as a dividing line between Jefferson and the census-designated place of Elmwood. Elmwood has a population of 4,635 as of 2010. Between Powerline Drive and Hickory Avenue, we enter the city of Harahan and the speed limit drops to 20 miles per hour. Harahan has an estimated population of 9,360. Harahan was named in honor of James Theodore Harahan, president of the Illinois Central Railroad from 1906 to 1911. The name of the river road here becomes Riverside Drive. The entirely residential Riverside Drive and the adjacent neighborhoods tend to be quiet and isolated since the River Road isn't used much by through traffic here.
Riverside Drive comes to an end at the former Colonial Golf and Country Club, which closed in 2012 after 86 years in business. We turn on to Colonial Club Drive and head up to Jefferson Highway. We conclude today's video at the corner of Colonial Club Drive and Jefferson Highway. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos come out, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.